Hello, I'm Debbie Connolly. I'm from Safe Pets UK. I've worked with animals for 30 years and I'm going to talk to you today about your cat's training and care needs. I'm going to talk about how to litter train your cat. It should be a simple process, but it often isn't, and people struggle a little bit getting the cat to understand what you're actually trying to teach it to do. Basically, you want the cat to toilet in a plastic tray in the litter that you've provided. And although in most cases, the mum of the kitten has taught them how to do that, some of them never learn this properly. And it's your job to try and make sure that the cat learns how to litter effectively. This means thinking about the position of the tray. So your starting point is, where am I going to put my litter tray? You find with some cats that the litter tray needs to be hidden, covered. You can get a variety of different types of trays for this, sizes, the depth of the litter, and sometimes there's a little bit of trial and error involved in working out how to get the right litter at the right depth in the right place for your cat. So your job is to work that out for your particular cat. If you have more than one cat, it can mean different litter trays. Cats are not very good at sharing toilets, so if you have more than one cat, you do sometimes need more than one tray. The position is important. Some cats are shy, they don't want to expose themselves, for example. They may feel a little vulnerable. So in those cases, a covered tray can be the way forward. For some cats, that feeling of being in an enclosed space actually creates panic. So although a covered litter tray we find more aesthetically pleasing because we don't have to look at the mess the cat makes, you might find that your cat doesn't actually want to get into one. If you choose to use a covered litter tray and your cat's not very keen, take the top off to start with and tip it at the back of the tray so it's only just leaning into the space of the tray. And over a period of perhaps four to seven days, slowly move that cover forward and forward as long as your cat's still happy until it actually gets to the point where the tray can be completely covered. If your cat refuses to go in, you may have to settle for the fact that you're going to have a little bit more mess because cats toilet by digging a hole and then covering it. So a covered litter tray might save you a little bit of cleaning up, but your cat may not want to use it. There are many different types of litters that you can use and again some cats prefer one type to another. The traditional one we tend to see is a kind of clay, grey, large grained type of litter. Now the problem I have with this personally is that it tends to clump into rather soggy, horrible, hard lumps. Although you should clean your litter tray regularly, I don't particularly think that cats like the feeling of that particular type of litter. Although I, I am told by customers that some do. So, you have other options. At the moment, I'm using a wood-based litter and it comes in small pellets about that size and it comes as little hard lumps. It looks a little bit like horse food. But what happens when the cat urinates on it is it dissipates into a kind of fine sawdust. It's hugely absorbent, it's economical and it's very eco-friendly because you can actually burn it and those of us who have an actual coal fire tend to burn our litter that way because it actually gets rid of it more hygienically. The commonest other cat litters tend to be special crystals which allegedly can help with keeping the smell in, although I find the pellet wood litter actually does that quite well anyway. So the, your other option is to go for what's usually euphemistically described as lightweight and this is because the individual grains aren't particularly heavy, although you'll find the bags themselves actually are. This is a, a, usually a white or pale pink type of litter, makes a lot of noise as the cat scratches in it, but it tends to be the one that most cats seem to take to. So if you're going to have your cat properly litter trained, you may have to spend a little bit of time just getting the lit actual litter right and your tray. The next question is how clean should you keep your litter tray? Now this is quite important because for a cat who's not very keen on using a litter tray, if you clean it a little too much, you might have a problem. So if your cat's not too sure, don't keep jumping up to run and clean every deposit out of the tray. Your cat might actually feel a bit more secure if a small smell of it is actually remaining in the tray. If you're getting to the point where once a week you need to clean that tray thoroughly and swap it for a brand new one, which is the stage we all get to, you need to think about the product that you use to actually clean the litter tray with. So what I recommend are products that actually have enzyme action. Now this is a little bit like the sort of biological washing powders and liquids that you use in your own washing machines. 
and there are special pet versions of these that are safe and tested for your pet. So if, you, if your cat happens to lick the tray or lick a bit of litter that's had spray on it, it will be perfectly safe. The next question is, exactly what type of enzyme product should you use? What you should use, in my opinion, is something that is fragrance free. Now we're all very used to, in our human products, things that smell beautiful, flowers, gardens, sea breeze, but cats don't necessarily want their toilet to smell like that. Plus, when you're cleaning it, you can be very quickly overpowered by the floral smell and not overpowered by the clean smell. So there are a couple of products that I use personally that I would recommend. Now, this product here is a pet fresh product and it's made by Two Pure. These are a range of products that are enzyme based, a new type of technology, and they are all fragrance, fragrance free. So this type of product will help you to actually clean your tray thoroughly has a very, very mild background smell, but will not fool you into thinking that your tray and litter and area are clean with the floral smell before they actually are. And they do help you to continue cleaning to the point of there's no actual smell left. So that is the best way to litter train your cat. Think about position, tray, litter and cleaning.